And so these Christians that Peter was writing to, they were going through some difficulties. They had some pressures. They were going through persecution. And if you know anything about persecutions, persecutions will cause you uh, to grow or it will cause you to become bitter. It's depending on your response to the persecution. If you respond in the correct way, the way that God's word tells us that we ought to respond, then there'll be some growth. But if you respond according to your feelings and what you want to do, then there won't be any growth, but there will be bitterness. Because when someone, I, 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 you know, I heard somebody uh, talking about uh, uh, being persecuted mm -hmm. and uh, being talked about and all of that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, when we are persecuted for the cause of Christ, right. it can cause us to grow stronger. Right. And some things that we think are persecutions, real or not persecutions. But when we go through the fire, we can come out shining if we do what God will have us to do. And so the encouragement that he uh, gives is that uh, because of the mercies of God, they have a living hope through uh, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And so in reading my text, he says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively or living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. All right. In this passage, there are four reasons why the hope that we have as Christians is called 